She's all one color now. Let's keep moving. All right, so it's time for these lovely tools, the sanding blocks. We've got all the metal work done. Now it's time to kind of start finessing everything. We've got our lines mostly there. There's a couple lines we still got to fix. But for the most part, um, now we're just working on what you know is body work. Um, it's, you know, this right here. So we've got a part here where this hood edge is higher than this little um, front filler panel thing um, you know here it looks fine probably from your view but if you look down on some cool b-roll you'll see this is higher and that's just because this is a brand new piece the previous piece had a big dent in it we got a new piece that's straight and ready to go um, that's one of those bolt-ons not always bolt-ons and where we kind of come in to, to fix some of those things so we'll we'll finesse this up a little bit to get this crest perfectly down so that way when you look down this line um, it'll be perfect and we're just kind of doing that a few places here and there. So pretty much where body lines line up, where a fender lines up to a door, um, where the trunk door lines up to the edges in the back and all that. So that's where we're at now. But let's go take a look at a couple other things. So here's one of those specific spots I was talking about and a great kind of example to kind of show right here. Uh, so you take this big flat block right here. The bigger, the better. That's how you get your straightest absolute lines ever and what you do is, is you, you come up and you you'll come over this edge but you won't roll over the edge so you won't come over and then do this you want to just bring that out and essentially do something like that where you're cutting that edge and keeping this edge this metal nice and straight so then from there if we're just going through here and doing this <coughs> between these two panels we're, it's almost like we're sanding one plane where it's really two panels. But when you're looking at this at a car show and it has bright, shiny, glossy, maybe metal flake in it, and you're looking at this in the bright sun, you're gonna be able to see just how straight this body line, line is coming down through here. And what this example shows here, before we got body work done, is how this is low right here, and this is low right here, because see how the sander is not touching it at all? That means on this big flat plane here, this is getting sanded. You can tell it's gray. And we're even getting into the met, the, the black primer that this, these body panels come on, that comes on them when they come out. Um, but we're not touching this pink primer right here because it's just a lower spot. So I think we're gonna have to add a little glaze in this area, in areas like this. Um, is usually what we have to do is just add a little glaze to kind of build it up just enough but then when we go back after adding that glaze, we'll do this and we'll have contact all the way across here and we'll just keep sanding until we get all the way down to one flat plane. And this line right here, we're not necessarily focusing on it, but it's what the product is of doing this work here. And on top, this line will come out laser straight. You'll be able to look down there, look all the way down through here and see how it lines up with just a flat piece of uh, block. All right, so Tyler had the easy spot where it's all flat. You can use a nice flat block real wide. You get back here, it's got a little more coverage to it. His block will work, but could potentially make flat spots in it. So you're going to want one that's got a little flex to it. Not so soft that it's going to just drive over everything, but it'll take the shape. One big curvature there. And then we got the top spots where these won't fit. Got a nice little thin block. Get up here and Get the nice little concave spot. Work our way through there. Again, he took the easy spot, left me the hard stuff. So that's what we get to do. These nice little thin ones, you can actually go another direction if you got to with it as well. So right blocks makes the job easier, for sure. All right, so it's dusty time. We've got everything aligned. We kind of showed you, you know, 
what the next step was. And now here is kind of the next step. We've got glaze going on. We've got glaze in the big spots here and there. I mean, especially this rooftop. Um, there's a ton of glaze up here, but there won't be a ton of glaze on there when we're all said and done because this is just to fill low spots. Um, and then that, that guide coat right there will lay down here. Jason will probably lay down. I keep saying we. I'm used to saying we. That, that, that's my wife. My wife always says we because it's it's Dorothy and I. We're, we're you know we're family, so we're we. But um, you know the next thing will be getting that done, getting this perfectly clear, getting everything just nice and, and flat. Um, and then it'll be sealer. And then sealer, one more you know kind of what 320, 440, somewhere in there. Um, before we, uh, we paint her up, put her on color. So we'll get there. All right, so you've seen a few little things here, mostly gray, all the big splotches are gone of the glaze and everything because we've got everything big cut down and we are flat. We are very flat. Um, the few faint colors you see are just a few high and low spots that we just feathered out. Um, what we'll do next is color. And what we're gonna do is a mechanical bond with a layer of uh, primer. It'll flash and then we'll add the color over that and it'll make a really nice mechanical bond, help really cover up all the scratches and all that. But um, yeah, the next time you see this, we are gonna be in color, so get out of here. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Boom, nailed it. <laughs>